Hi, I'm Lori McMortgage, and since 1996, I've been helping families buy homes when they didn't have the cash to pay for it by providing home mortgage financing. One of my favorite things about the job is that I get to learn something new every day. Guidelines are constantly changing and no two applications are the same. So if you'd like to learn more about the exciting world of mortgage financing, please keep watching and I hope you enjoy. You may be thinking that now is a good time to refinance your home. You may want to lower your monthly payment or take cash out to buy another home or pay down debt. Whatever your reason, it's important to know the steps to easily get your refinance completed. The first step to financing your mortgage is knowing that you can work with whoever you want to refinance your existing mortgage. Okay, let's be clear. You don't have to refinance with your current lender. That's right. Just because you make your mortgage payment to XYZ Company does not mean you have to refinance your existing loan with them. In fact, you should always see if there's a better option for you with a local lender. If you decide to do a refinance with a different lender, no worries. That new lender will simply pay off your current loan, ending your relationship with your old lender. So don't be afraid to use someone besides who you make your monthly mortgage to. Step two is apply. When you apply for a refinance with your mortgage lender, they will ask you many of the same questions that they did when you bought your home. They want to know your income, assets, debt, and credit score to determine whether you meet the requirements needed to refinance. Step three, lock in your interest rate. Depending on how the market is, you will want to lock in your interest rate after you apply for your mortgage. Your lender will keep you informed on daily interest rates and be sure you know when the time is to lock your rate in. You will need to lock your interest rate so it doesn't change before the loan closes. Rate locks last anywhere from 15 to 60 days. The rate lock period depends on a few factors like your location, loan type, and lender. If your loan doesn't close before the lock period ends, you may be required to extend the rate lock, which may cost money. Step four is underwriting. Once you submit your application and documentation, your mortgage lender will begin underwriting your loan. During underwriting, your mortgage lender verifies your financial information and makes sure that everything you've submitted is accurate. Step five is appraisal. Your mortgage lender will order the appraisal on your behalf. You may not need an appraisal if you are doing a rate and term refinance. Your lender will be able to tell you if you qualify for an appraisal waiver. Step six is closing. Once your appraisal is complete and your documentation has been verified, you will receive a clear to close. A few days before closing, your lender will send you a document called a closing disclosure. That's where you'll see all the final numbers about your loan, including your interest rate, closing costs, monthly payment, etc. If you have any questions, be sure to work with your lender to get them answered. With recent loan limit increases, now may be the perfect time to find out about doing a refinance. Be sure to check with your lender to find out what loan program is best for you. Hi, I'm Lori McMortgage, and I help people buy homes when they don't have the cash to pay for it. If it's your first home, your next home, or your rental home, my team and I will make sure you have the right financing in place and the process is smooth and easy. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video and please reach out to us at the information provided. We can't wait to talk to you.